Green, could you please give us a brief introduction of your character, Anakin Skywalker? Sure. So Anakin Skywalker is a, a very complex character. He's, a, you know, not so dissimilar from you or I. He, he, he uh, at the beginning, he, he really has sort of a similar ideal set and a set of morales that, uh, for all intents and purposes, he's a good guy. But uh, he has this lust for power. Um, and, and he, you know, he really wants great things, but uh, they become something bigger than what he originally expected. And he has these sort of delusions of grandeur that, that uh, he doesn't know what to do with. And, uh, and his fall to the dark side, I, I think, is, is sort of understandable. You know, he wants to protect the people that he, he loves, and I don't fault him for that. It's just uh, the way he goes about it. But he, uh, you know, he's someone that... I can identify with as, as a character that is, is interesting in, in how he sort of becomes Darth Vader, you know, he fall to the dark side is, is, a, is a complex and, and very compelling one. Liar! You're with him! You brought him here to kill me! No! <laughs> 俊美少年的细致轮廓，成年男子的健美体魄，以及皱眉时散发的阴暗气息，他就是亦正亦邪的影片男主角安纳金。I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Not like here. Here everything is soft. And smooth. The casting process was a process. It was went on for several months. I remember the entire time feeling like it was it was uh, too far-fetched that I'd ever get cast in, in this role. How many role. callbacks? There was probably four or five callbacks. I remember the first time I just met with the casting director, uh, Robin Gerland, and, um, and, and just chatted with her about acting and random stuff. And then I went and met with George Lucas uh, over the Skywalker Ranch and uh, and that was a very surreal experience going there for the first time. And then I uh, got to audition with Natalie Portman, and that was sort of like the last phase of the auditioning process. And, uh, and read through a few scenes with her, and, and, uh, and then I went back home. I was living in Vancouver at the time, and I remember uh, maybe a few days later, I got a phone call from my, my agent saying that I got the part, and it was... Um, one of the what? happiest phone calls I've ever gotten, and, uh, one of the happiest days of memory. And, uh, you know, I was, I was, my roommate at the time uh, was a DJ, and he had the Star Wars LP on record, and he put it on, and I remember we were blaring it as loud as we could, and having a fake lightsaber fight. And, we were like little kids in a candy store. It was, it was a fun day. So, I mean, I, I personally hate auditions. You know, it's a yeah. nerve-wracking experience. Yeah. So, do you remember any nerve-wracking oh, moments? Oh, absolutely. I was terrified. I was so nervous. I had butterflies in my stomach. And uh, I remember meeting Natalie for the first time. I was, uh, was a little overwhelmed. Um, I remember in, in one of the auditions, one of the takes that we were doing, I was, I was very nervous and I lost my voice. I, I got like a frog in my throat or something. I couldn't talk. And I read somewhere that you threw up on the way to the ranch. I wasn't going to talk about that, but, <laughs> but if you want to bring it up, yeah, I, was, I was very nervous. You know, it was a big deal for me. That's great. And finally, you won the part. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. the whole process made it all worthwhile. Yeah. You seem a little on edge. Not at all. I haven't felt you this tense since, since we fell into that nest of gun dogs. <laughs> you fell into that nightmare, Master, and I rescued you, remember? You're sweating. Relax. Take a deep breath. 
I haven't seen her in ten years, Master. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe's first adult film, Anna Jin, the actress is now the most popular star in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. With the hit of the film, this young and unknown star has flown high to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, at the beginning of the film, she used a new person to play Anna Jin. Lucas' choice has made the film a shock. You know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe's first adult film, So much. 尤其是在《星球大战》前传第三部中，海登饰演的安纳金由善到恶转变的一幕，更成为这个系列影片的一大经典场景。I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Well, then you are lost. Extraordinary scene. <laughs> Extraordinary scene. I mean, the the emotions palpable. Yeah, yeah. No, that uh, that's one of my favorite scenes. Um, I was gonna think. I was just, you know, as an actor, was this the most rewarding moment throughout your uh, shooting? One of, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's sort of the, the final culmination of everything we've been working on, uh, uh, coming to a head in, in that scene there. And I remember when we were filming. Uh, that particular part of the scene that day, uh, Robert De Niro showed up to set uh, to watch, um, and I was I was off in the corner. I was doing a bunch of push-ups, <laughs> trying to get Dude, myself worked up. up. And he and he walked over. And he said, "Yeah, I do the same thing." And, uh, <laughs> and it was it was uh, you know there was lots of uh, really neat people that would show up to the Star Wars set just because it was Star Wars and they wanted to come and see it uh, in the flesh. Uh, but yeah, no, that was that was a special scene for me. Yeah. So after two, during the two films, what did you learn the most as an actor? What did you learn? Um, I, I mean, it was it was really the most incredible learning experience I could have asked for. Uh, you know, I got to I got to watch George Lucas. Uh, Amazing visionary storyteller work, and I got to work with him and uh, and seeing his process and uh, how he goes about making his decisions and um, that was what was most interesting was watching him craft his 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 stories and, uh, and make them into these amazing movies uh, was the greatest learning experience.